And March 18th, I'm in Seattle, 19th, Portland, March 25th, Las Vegas, Nevada. And just real quickly, I have my second comedy special coming out at youtube.com slash Christy Comedy sometime in late March. So subscribe now. I'm very, very proud of it. Directed by The Homeless Pimp. Then we're going April 15th and 16th, Louisville and Evansville, April 23rd and 24th. Tulsa and Oklahoma City, and then we got May 14th at the Beacon, and May 21st and 22nd, San Diego and L.A. SalVolcanoComedy.com Take me home tonight I don't want to let you go till you see the light Take me home tonight. Listen, honey, just like Ronnie said. Be my little hey, babe. <coughs> hey, babe. Hey, what's going on, babe? Look at this. Bro. Joey D. Oh. These are <laughs> Pimp's Christmas gifts that he gave us in the March. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Sleepy Joe. It's a Sleepy Joe hoodie. Sleepy Joe hoodie. And then we have Joe in between us right here. <laughs> yeah. This is like the demonic Pee Wee Herman. It does. That would, that, this is a, a Christmas gift that Pimp. Uh, gave to um, us on the last episode, and we just we what well, we would have it out on this episode. I'm going to bring this home to my children and see what happens. What is it exactly? Well, in Goosebumps, it was like a haunted uh, friend. R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein. Oh, we Shout know that out. person. Do you know R.L. Stein personally? Uh, Murray does. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Big guy, short guy. No idea. Didn't even know it was a guy. Uh, Murray's That's a good Murray's point. friends with him, I suppose. Uh, or because every time Murray puts out a book, R.L. Stein is one of the people on like the jacket, like. F- Horrific, you know. Like, no, kinda he kind of looks like Murray. Oh wow, he does look like Murray. <laughs> oh, well, like, he looks like. Uh, who does he look like? R.L. Stein. He kind of looks like. Um, R.L. Stein looks a little bit like. Uh, he looks There's like somebody. I can't get it. Who he looks like an old, uh, old, not famous, just kind of regular Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. He looks What's R.L. Stein's net worth? Hit me with that. Ready for this? Yeah. $350 million. Yeah, I think it's I think it's got to be about $150 million. $200 million. You got wow. closer. Wow. Oh, you got closer. You could punch me in the face. That's, <laughs> that's a lot of cash, bro. That's a lot of cash flow. That's uh, But he ain't got that podcast money. Nah, kid. Net worth. That means he could liquidate for two hundred mil. That's insane, man. Because what does net worth really mean? Like, that's like... You net, like, like... Like the cost of my house, yeah. that goes into my net worth. Oh, of course, the entire cost of the house, it's or, equity, or the equity, no, what no, I no, paid no, into no, no, it yeah, so yeah, far. Yeah, no, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Like, now what, yo? Right. So is, you know, if you bought a house for a million bucks and you put you paid three hundred off, you have a seven hundred thousand mortgage. You have three hundred equity in the house that goes toward your net worth. Right. right. Yeah, that's what you go liquid for. Go liquid for three, and then. I mean, well, it's not what you go look for. It's your equity still counts as your net worth. Right. But it's just like sometimes people will have like tons of money in net worth, but it's all tied up. And it's not really like extremely rich people. Well, not even extremely rich people. People are smart with their money. Um, They never really use their own money. Like they buy all these properties and they just always they're all about bank loans. They're all about using everybody else's money. Yeah. And never their own money. That's like a thing that I'm trying to learn now. It's like get invest in something, but don't use as little of your own money as possible. Use the bank's money, but then aren't you paying the interest on it? So you you are, are, but you're basically paying. Yeah, but you could always like if you turn it over and sell it, and you cover your costs. You know, you could be there for really not losing anything because you are you are getting equity in it. And right. You're paying interest rates, inflation, all that stuff. But then if you sell it enough to cover your costs and the closing costs and the taxes and all that stuff, you can make a profit and or break even, and then it's not like you really spent your money on it. But that's if you want to like if you have enough money to to buy multiple properties or you you're content with consistently moving around and stuff. Otherwise, you're tying your money up. What does sweat equity mean then? I think that's like basically a measure of how much putting a, a tangible dollar amount on the work that you put into something that's not necessarily its value. So sweat so equity, like sweat equity, like you built a brand, right? It, it took a long time. Right. So if someone's going to buy your brand, and I just you might say like, well, there's all the sweat equity as well. The sweat equity, I would the say sweat equity. equity. Yes, yeah, I wouldn't equity. say sweat equity. I would say my sweat equity. Uh, sweat equity. Say it three times fast. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Sweat equity. Nailed it. Sweat equity or sweat equity, as some idiots call it, is the ownership interest or increase in value that is created as a direct result of hard work 
by the owner. It is the preferred mode of building equity for cash-strapped entrepreneurs in their startup venture since they may be unable to contribute much financial capital to their enterprise. Right, so you know when people go on Shark Tank, they're like, I have this amazing idea. I've been fostering it for a while. This was the first prototype. This is the second. Now we have it where it needs to be. We have found all this stuff. We named it. This is the marketing. And it's like, but we just have no, we need to scale. We have no money. We have no, And they say, they, what's your valuation? Sometimes they'll put a valuation on it. And the valuation can't be exactly what the thing is worth because it's not worth anything yet. Right. But it has a value. Valuation because they had to put all that sweat equity and hard work into getting it where it was to present right. to them. So there's a value in that, right? So can you have sweat equity in like a house? I don't know if it works that way. It's really like a business is what you get. Yeah, sweat, sweat equity. equity. I mean, sweat equity is just yeah. building the house. Hippie pulled up a sweat equity example. Um, the name of this episode is Sweat Equity. An example of sweat equity is a person who spends time renovating homes and selling them at a higher price. The difference between the value of the home before renovations and the market value of the home sure. after repairs represents a sweat equity. Okay, that's understandable. Yeah. So we bought a house for a million. We put in 200K in it, but then we sold it for 1,300,000. We make 100 grand in sweat equity. Well, if you paid to have it put in... I don't know if that's you have improvements on the house, but if you did it yourself, you're giving yourself value by your own work. I think that's the difference. Got it. So if you renovated your whole house by yourself, right? You Which didn't get paid. I, I you didn't cannot. get paid for that, but it's worth that when it nets out. Got it. You Understood. I, mean? I think. I mean, that's what, how I pick it up. Yeah, because when they flip a house, when you flip a house, it's pretty much you just buying a house and then renovating it for a cheap price and then selling it like you really like when you flip houses you don't make like a ton of money no well i guess it all depends it all depends yeah, yeah. okay flip them flip them nice. for real. interesting this is uh welcome we're in the new property brothers what is the 70 percent? i asked to get we're on the that property show. sisters i asked to get on that show and what they, they i reached said, out no i was you? like i love it i'll come on anytime and they were like all right it was like on twitter but then i never went on my girl uh I, this is a true story. One time we were watching Property Brothers years ago. Now nah, you lying. <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. Uh, uh, Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> we got all about that. I love it. Oh, the, well, we're gonna so so yeah. one time we're watching Property Brothers. Allegedly. <laughs> and she goes, um, and 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 she's like, uh, like, like, you know, like a little bit later, she's like, oh, why don't we watch, like, uh, why don't we watch a show with the lovers on a uh, love the lovers and i said what do you mean she's like the show with the love the two lovers that renovate stuff and i'm like what she's like the guys the gay guys the gay lovers and i go are you talking to, I go, are you talking, about, yeah, I go, are you talking about property brothers she goes yeah i go you think those guys are gay lovers she goes yeah what do you mean i go they're identical, identical to twins. twins and she goes no they're not i go what? are you are you bad shit i go they are there's no other way you can't be more identical than identical and she's yeah. like no 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 and i pulled up the picture and she goes they look alike, but I don't think they're identical twins. I'm like, it's called Property, property Brothers. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, she thought they were. She thought, she's it's like, not called Property Gay Lovers. She goes, she goes, yeah. She goes, I, what's my favorite show? The Property Homos. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> 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 yeah. wow. What is you know? My father's a twin. No, my father there's has a Tampa. Somebody else. No, well, it is it. There was a Tampa and Helen. She passed away uh, 20 years ago now, but she was a female. Oh, twin. Uh, Oh. And he said, like, even though it's male, female, <coughs> you know, not identical, of course, felt a bond. connect. Really? He said, yep, he knew. He well, knew. think about that. I mean, the closest person to you probably on earth is, is your sibling already. Right. Let alone twin. Twin. I mean, it's insane to have. When I, you know, I have two two kids now. I was I was thinking, like, wow, mine's one of these is a twin. Like, wow. the, you know, it's very difficult to raise, like, a little baby. But fans out there that have twins... That have twins is like, I can't, I, I wouldn't even know how to manage that. Like, really? Especially, like, you know, I know there's some people out there that can afford a nanny or whatever. I have twins in my family. Really? Yeah. What, one of your siblings? Uh, cousins, like. And it, was their mom, was it hard to raise? I mean, mom must have been exhausted. I guess it's challenging. I don't know. I, I, I heard I heard two at once is crazy because they make they wake each other up. Yeah, two at once is crazy, and they, and I also heard like you know when you have, like that second kid is like crazy. To be honest, I have three kids in the house now. I have a, you know my eleven year old stepson, my six year old daughter, and a not an eight month old daughter, and. The, even though you know the focus, you know the, the six year old and eleven year old can you know they brush their teeth, they they you know do their homework, whatever. Having three children is it, it, it is like where you're like, oh my god, like there's so many things to do. Always, it's awesome, but it's like I would say for sure, I'm way more tired 
with this third kid than like two kids. They say one kid is nothing. When you have two kids, it's really insane. And three kids, it's like crazy. It's off the wall. I would say it is off the wall. Have Michael ever, Jackson. Have you ever met quintuplets, like somebody with quintuplets? Five? Five babies born in one birth? I mean, what are we, kittens? That's crazy, man. What about the Octomom? How'd she do it? I know. Did you ever see that picture of her belly, the Octomom? It looks like she swallowed a legitimate boulder from Colorado. Yeah, like huge. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Like, 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 <laughs> like how, look at how ripped she is How now. is her body not tearing in half? Now, did also, she, how are there eight kids just flopping around in there? Now, was that in vitro? Like, was that, or did she, like, was this just like, this just happened? Oh, you know what? Where are these kids now? What do these kids look like? Yeah, what are, what are they? Oh, not- look, look, there it is. Show that set. Like, what's going on in there, man? What is going on in there? And every single one. Every that's single one of babies. Them sur- that's not even, that's what, three? Did every single one of them survive? Yeah, she had eight kids. By the eighth kid popping out, does it, uh, is it just fully numb? Did she go natural? She was IVF, conducted okay. by, okay, Dr. claimed Maya. to have requested transfer of six embryos that she had accumulated from previous, despite being informed that the recommended guideline for limit her age Oh, was so she three. did this on purpose. This wasn't like, whoa, the octuplets and her six older children were all conceived using one other man's sperm, she said through a spokesperson. Absolutely, Dennis is definitely not the father. How many kids does Octomom have total? Is Octomom married? Ooh, not anymore. She did 14 kids through IVF. Wow. She has 14 kids. Which, like, you know, now is insane. But back in the day, that was like, this was very normal. How do you, yeah, well, my grandparents, like, but how yeah. do you afford that even? 14 kids. How um, do you afford 14 kids? How do you even, you need a system. You need a, you need, you need a literal system in the house. Imagine raising eight at once. <sighs> They're birthed at once. Yeah. So there's, there's no way to, there's no you're way. Not, yeah, you're not doing that. You, you, you need help. You, you need, the government has to send somebody. They got to send somebody you, you, in. You can't feed eight kids at the same time. They all are on schedules. Right. But what about them all staying up, waking up? You know better than anyone. You dealt with it. How do you have eight kids at one time? And, uh, they ain't enough. You, you, there, ain't, there ain't a big enough titty in the world to feed all eight kids. I know. The titties, got, that's got to be and, it. And, I'm, and, 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 and listen, I know there's some women out there with some big old titties. Tiggles. But but even even in big old many witties, yeah. there's still not enough big old to feed yeah. a child. Think, of the, okay biggest, think of the biggest titty you ever seen. Uh, Not enough for eight children, yo, though. the biggest titty I've ever seen. You know who you are, Liz. What up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you say so, man. Liz Strowman. You know how it is. <laughs> um... Oh, in, 20, in 2012, here's how she paid for it. Suleiman, the Octomom, starred in the film 666, The Devil's Child, a low-budget horror film that centers upon a couple that visits a woman they met on the internet only for strange things to occur, like the one of the women has eight kids at once. Like she was accused of welfare fraud by the Calif- state of California, well, failing to disclose nearly 30000 in earnings. Oh, get off come of on, it. Come on, thirty grand. Come on. You pussies. She pleaded no contest. Uh, to a single count of misdemeanor, welfare, fraud, disclosed income she was receiving from videos and personal appearances while collecting more than 26000 in assistance. I mean, come on, man. That's really so dumb. No. That's not her. Oh, Octomom's no. doing porn? No. Stop it. She looks like T.T. Jerry there. Octomom Home Alone. Wait, what? What? Celebrity and recognition. Pornographic film pe- featuring prominent American mother N- Nadia Suleiman. It's her. So she did a full porn, Octomom. No. She was under severe financial pressure from raising 14 children. Publicly stated she would not do porn. She explained that say, saying, I've been celibate for 14 years and I'm a regular churchgoer. Oh God, she also claimed she never masturbated. She's a nun. <laughs> God, I, I've never masturbated. Anyone who says they never masturbated, I, I, I honestly, if a guy tells me he's never masturbated, I'm going to go to the store and get a poncho because I know that you <laughs> masturbate more than anyone I've ever met in my life. I had a coach once tell me he's never masturbated. I was like, what the? F- Shut up. You've never masturbated. Is it, couldn't Why? that be painful? It's weird that my coach said that. Yeah. <laughs> what? It was, it's it's even, it was even, it was even more odd as while you were blowing him. Yeah, I know. 
He was like, ah, what is this stuff coming out of my pee-pee? Atamam uh, Home Alone was nominated for four AVN Awards. Best Celebrity <laughs> Sex. I, I had never heard I of it. I actually, can we pull up Octom? Like, is there a still image from this? Like, this is like, oh, it's one of those things. I don't want to watch the tape, but I'm just saying, like, is there, you know? I mean, I would be interested in seeing what the tapes, what's going on with this tape. Yeah, who directed it? Nah, Homeless pimp. I don't want to see it now. Octo Mom Home Alone. Oh, and if you go to ujiz.com, <laughs> you could see. Yeah, I'm not interested. I'm just not interested it's, in yeah, it at all. It doesn't feel right. What do you go? Ujiz, U Porn, Pornhub, 8th Street Latinas. What do you do? <laughs> Before I, I will answer that because I just don't. I don't. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not a loyal to any one of them. Right. But look at the guy she's with. Can you scroll, you scroll up? up? He looks like a look at. He look how look. thin he look. He's he's like so thin and so tan. He's like a chocolate wafer. Yeah, it's almost. He's almost in blackface. Like it's her 23 year old bodybuilder boyfriend. I know he is almost. In, he's so like chocolatey. Yeah. Shout out chocolate. What? I love chocolate. What literally? What is a better sweet than chocolate? Truthfully. I don't. I mean, I don't think that you'd be hard pressed to find. I don't think everybody would agree. I think it's a drug, isn't it? Is it a drug? I think it has like properties of like addiction. <clears throat> Homeless pimp. When's the last time you ate a piece of chocolate with your healthy diet? Um, your special taping. Well, you had chocolate. Yeah, there was chocolate. Oh, but there. it was dark chocolate. What about a real like piece of shit? Like it was dessert? like the bark thin thing. Yeah, like what about like a real? I'm talking about like a. When's the last time you ate like a tr like a true idiot? Like in a year? Like you think you've been had a year of like probably. Uh, July. July. Yeah. That's, isn't that wild that you can get to that level? I know. I'm trying to reverse now. I'm trying to be, but you just ordered, would you order a thin mint shake? No, but yeah, but we got grilled chicken. <laughs> <laughs> One time a nutritionist told me, it's, instead of concentrating on what you, on, on all the bad food you ate, just try to eat the right foods. Right. As long as you get the right foods in, which uh, is a, such a dumb uh, thing to tell me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But his whole philosophy is, is because the more and more you eat the right foods and you feel how your body feels at, at that, right. it's a process. Right. And you'll get you'll get there quicker. All right. The problem is with me, the problem is with me is when I get out of shape, which I am right now, nobody notices it but me. So it's tough when somebody's like, no, you look great. You don't feel out of shape to me. I've, oh, dude, I mean. Really? God, girl. But girl. I feel like I got Octomom tits. Girl, you've been boxing and stuff. Yeah, but baby girl, it, it ain't enough. Yeah, but sweetie. Don't do that to yourself. You're looking in the mirror and only you're seeing that. Boo, you know I appreciate you and everything you do for me and my family. Yeah. But I do feel uh, disgusting and I have stretch marks on my thighs. But honey <laughs> child, honey child, nobody's seeing those stretch marks. Really? No. Come on now. I'll pull them out. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of stretch marks. Yeah. And I've been moisturizing as our pal John Rednitsky sees. Yeah. Uh, Johnny Art. Yeah. Told John me Rednitsky. To do. Rednitsky. Shout out Rednitsk. John Renitsk was on our uh, John Renitsky was last on, week was on our podcast. No, but, two, but weeks ago. Ago, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Hundred percent. I've moisturized my face every single day. I've washed my hair with shampoo one time since then. The morning of my special. No shit. Yep. And I'm telling you, dude. You feel him? my hair? Even even my mother commented on. She's like, "When did your hair get so wavy?" I'm like, "I've just been using conditioner and water. So this whole time I'm washing my hair, I've been your natural like oils." Like he said, he said all the natural oils and your hair. You know, it looks stringy because you wash it too much. Yeah. That's because I knew that that ain't my hair. I know. You know. I have to wash mine every day now, though. With shampoo? Well, if if I don't, it gets it's so long, it looks too greasy. You know what I mean? Right. What are you doing about the uh, mullet? Cut it off. You did? Yeah. So You're done with it now? I cut it off, yeah. All right. You, so you had a haircut since the mullet? Yeah. Yeah. See, when it gets long, I go like every two months. I kind of realized like this isn't me. When yeah. I looked at it, I said, you know what? It was a fun idea. But what I am committed to, though, is growing my hair out. And like get it. in what way? My hair is, right now, my hair is like pandemic length. Like, in the, you know, when we couldn't get haircuts? Yeah. It's like, it's it's approaching that now. What's, I want to grow out to like, like I want to I want to have I want to have long hair and see what happens. Are you How serious are you being with me right now? Are Shoulders. you going to go for your next haircut and get a fade? Or are you going to grow your hair no, out? No, I, I go to my haircut, my ba my barber, uh, uh, shout out Jeremy. I go to my barber. Name uh, down at someone in the public that has the hairstyle you want so I can we can understand what you're visualizing. John Rudnitsky. Really? Bradley Cooper. Okay. Um, uh, John Rynitsky, Bradley Cooper, Billie Jean King. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Jeremy, Jeremy, you tell you, Jeremy's going to bring you there. Jeremy, shout out. I'm, I'm from uh, Soho Cartel Barbershop. Oh, Soho Cartel. Cartel. Okay. Um, is it the Soho Cartel? You cut your hair live on your podcast. You cut my hair live on the Chris Cass podcast. And um, 
And uh, he, he knows what I want. And he said, you know, I had to cut the mullet. So he said he had to, like, shape it up a little bit. He said, but now when he comes over, it'll just be shape-ups. Wow. Yeah. I'd still, love to still see gonna it. still going to charge a fee for coming to the house a little extra. But what can you do? <laughs> yeah. I'd love to see it, though. Yeah, I'm going to grow it out, man. I want to know what, what you look Why like not? at that. Why not? Because I said, you know what, man? Who knows how long we have our hair for? Yeah. You know? I mean, obviously, if we use Keeps.com, we can always get it out of it. Promo code, hey, babe. All that they do. Yeah. Um, but Keep what you have. Keep what you have. It doesn't. Yeah, two or three men are going to doesn't grow your hair back. It. Does not. Yeah, um, but I I think that I want to just grow the hair out. You know, like my father told me the other day, it was interesting. My father was with, with me, shout out Tampa T, and I was on the floor, like uh, you know, messing with the baby. Your father's TT too. TT. Wow. Ooh. TT Jerry, TT Daddy. TT Jerry, TT Daddy. Yeah. Wow. Good. Very smart. Yeah. And <laughs> and I was I was on my hands and knees, like crawling after the baby, like just being silly. And my dad said to me, like, earnestly, he was like, you don't know, I would give everything to just be able to go on my hands and knees again, just one more time again in my life and be able to get up and not be in excruciating pain or be able to do that. He's like, enjoy your knees while you have them. And yeah. I was like, wow. We don't think of that It was shit. like profound because, yeah, it just he's, that's what he's saying. He's like, one day I just woke up and that was the last day my knees worked. <gasps> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's terrifying. It just, but he said, it's, it's just what it is. Wow. You know? you know, and you know what is another sin, another um, problem. You know, as older men, like our brains, women's brains. This is like a, uh, a study, a real science thing. Women's like I forgot what chemicals it is, but I, I guess when they go through menopause, like their desire to have sex like goes down, and they don't. Even, they have a track. You know, like sex. It, it's not an excitable thing for them as much anymore. Okay. It just goes down. The urge goes down. Men, it doesn't. So your brain. Wants to have as much sex as it did when it was twenty, as it does when it's ninety. It's just your body. Is, really? I don't yeah. know. Oh, your brain does. Brain does. You can't do it. Right. But it's brain. That's why there's a very high rate of STDs in nursing homes. Is that true? Very high. Google STD Wait, rate. Nursing what, they be, homes. They be fucking in there. They be fucking. Who be fucking? Grandma and grandpa. No. Yes, ma'am. No. Historic on high the rates. down low. Look, historic high rates of STIs among older Americans. February 26, 2020. This is what caused the pandemic. Wait, what's the difference between STD and STI? Sexual transmitted infection versus sexually transmitted disease. What's the difference? I never heard of an STI. I think it's just the new updated term for it. Oh, no way. Yeah, like you you can't call them like, you know, you don't call them, you know, um, whatever, manhole covers anymore. Now they're people hole covers or they're fire people. Do you really believe STI is an STD? STI, STD means sexually transmitted disease, or STI means sexually transmitted infection. The difference is between a disease and an infection. Not all diseases begin with infections, but many do. Sexually transmitted disease first begins as a sexually transmitted infection. <laughs> Whatever, bro. I don't know, dude. So they're in there, and they're, like, sneaking around and, and yeah. having sex in there. One of the most comforting things in the world is just to be in a relationship and know you don't have an STD. And yeah. if you do have an STD, at least you got it from a cheating partner and, like, you don't have to, like, search around. You know what I mean? You live Isn't your life. good? Yeah, I mean, I... Like, I, I, I didn't realize how long, when I was single, like, how much of my time was, was worried about worried. having an STD. Almost 90% of my day, any pain I felt in my genitalia yeah. at all, I was like, I got an STD, I got right. an STD, I got an STD. And now it's like, whatever, dude. I'm just dying of prostate cancer. I'm, but I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> at least it ain't an STD. I was told I had to get a. I was told that a colonoscopy age is 45 now. I got a colonoscopy at 35. Uh, why? Because I thought that my poo looked very strange, and I took a photo of it in the toilet bowl, and it was a very glossy photo. I must have had some type of filter on, but I showed that to the doctor, <laughs> and he was like, "I've never seen poop that looks like plastic like that." I was like, right. "I swear that's my poop." <laughs> he was like, "There's no filter." I said, "No," but. I was just so nervous that I didn't realize that there was. And then he was like, well, we should do a colonoscopy, just knock anything out. And then they looked in and they said, I had like a little polyp, but he said it was like bullshit. What's the process come back at that? 45. What's the process there? You drink a, uh, 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 juice, co yeah. colon, blow, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah. And then you have to literally, they tell you, they're like, bring a laptop, bring a book, bring the kids, bring the family into the bathroom. Sure. Because you cannot get up because you are constantly flowing with diarrhea. And it gets to the point where at the end of it, like the the morning of, you're just fully shitting lick like like there's nothing in your intestine uh, in your gut like you full gut. Well, this is before you get to them. Before and then I went to I took an Uber because uh, you have to go with somebody, but I, they said do not drive because like you can't drive back. So I took an Uber 
Um, you can't drive back because you're going to shit yourself? No, because uh, you go under anesthesia. Oh, sure. So I took an Uber there. You get out completely? Completely out. Completely out. Completely out. I don't know if I like this. Completely not. You ever been under anesthesia? Probably for uh, dentistry. No, this is real anesthesia. I, I Dude, being under anesthesia is in Tonsils, sanity. that kind of thing? Uh, I, yeah, I never got the tonsils yeah. taken out, but I'm, sh- I'm assuming. No, dude, they literally are like, all right, count backers from 100. And then you, I got to 97, and I woke up, and it was done. Like, done. It, it's actually insane. Well, what, what, are you, what are you wearing, and, like, who's going up? Who's, who's locating your holes, and then who's penetrating them uh, in what fashion? Who else is around? So there were two doctors. There was an Asian man um, who was the anesthesiologist who said, you know, you're going to have the greatest sleep of your life. And then there was an uh, Indian man. Uh, my doctor, who was like, I'm going to take this rod and shove it up your ass. Right. And you're not going to feel anything. Right. And, and, um, but is it a rod? It's a long, like, cable that had, like, it looks like a hose and it's got a little camera at the end of it. The worst thing, the, the, that was nothing, actually. You don't even feel anything before. But you were out. Right. But to get to that level, for them to test you, they want, they needed to test my prostate for some reason. That sucked because that's a woman, like, it was a Russian nurse who was, you know, pretty attractive that I had to just get in a gown and, you know, she opened up my asshole and put like, it looked like a microphone in my ass. And I was like, ah, like screaming. And she was like, just a little more, just a little more. <laughs> and, and, and she kept saying that. And I was like, this is killing me. She's like, little more, little more. Wait, so you went to this place, you put on a gown, you and this Russian woman are in a room alone. Yes. You bend over. No, I had to lay on the table in the fetal position, and they moved one leg on over the side. other. On my side, I had to move my legs like this to open up my asshole as, as much as I could. And then they, she came, and I felt her grab a cheek. and Stop. Lift. Yes, and then she went in like that, and I was like, ah! And she, I remember she just kept going, little more, little more. <laughs> she kept saying, little more. Yeah. So were you, did you speak to her beforehand? Had you ever seen her before? I mean, I How tr- long before you, your eyes saw her was she shoving something up your ass? 30 seconds. 30 Seconds. Came in, put on the gloves. She said, your name Chris Di Stefano. That I said, was yep. You said, no pleasantries. And then she said, okay, lay on your side because I already had my gown on, my yeah. ass out. And then she you know, uh, lay on the side. Does that feel weird? Your you know what else she out? said to me too? She goes, this is not her scope professional. She goes, you have mole on back. You should take a look. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, and uh, and, uh, so and you, you walked in, you saw for the first time. She goes, get up on the table. Yeah. And then you got up. She And then... She lifts your cheek. Oh, is that? Hold on. Is that the food? Oh, it's Santino. Has your mind been sprinting for years on end, leaving trails of stress, anxiety, and fatigue that are eroding your mental health? Yes. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yes. If you're nodding along, yes, and it's time to adopt small daily practices that will have a huge impact on your long-term happiness and well-being. It's easy to learn that with Headspace. Headspace.com slash hey, babe. You're going to get the best offer available to feel right, to feel good. It's easy to learn with Headspace. If you're not along, yes which we know you are, then it's time to adopt small daily practices that will have a huge impact on your long-term happiness and well-being. Which is what I also said, and you're driving at home. In fact, you ready for this? In fact, to answer your question, Sal, that may or may not have been edited out, a recent study proved in just two weeks Headspace can reduce your stress by 14%. What? That's 14. That is, that's significant. 14%. 14%. Whether you want to relieve stress and anxiety, sleep better, or improve your focus, Headspace is your everyday dose of mindfulness for real life. I love meditating, man. And the only way I can meditate is with Headspace, truthfully. Oh, love a good meditation. Yeah, it's Especially better. if I have it in an app form. Yeah. It's on my, my smartphone. It goes where I go. I can meditate uh, when I'm trying to fall asleep. I can meditate when I'm, I'm on the subway. I can meditate when I'm on the airplane. I can meditate in a car. I can meditate uh, meditate in a bar. I can meditate on a truck. I can meditate in a rut. Headspace.com slash hey, babe. <laughs> All right, so. Cue to tell fresh time. Oh, America's number, number one, one meal, meal kit. kit. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre Portion ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your dough step. Yes. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make. I wish I had an accent like that. Why can't it's you? It's so much more fun. How HelloFresh, what I love about them is that it's low calorie, carb conscious o- options. They got six recipes per week to choose from. Babe, they just came out with like this cheese 
beef tenderloin cheese fondue. The fondue. It was so good. I literally, I took a bite of it and I slapped my six year old in the face with it because it was what, so good. As I you should. Oh, you're so cute. You just wanted her to know. I wanted her to know what was up with HelloFresh. Yeah, and that's she was. That's cute. what it is. Also, the miso sesame shrimp and bacon ramen. Amazing. I thought it was so delicious. I took my neighbor's dog and I just shoved it right, right down. Yeah. In right down as the throat yes, of the dog. And then, because and then, I was like, this dog's so cute and he needs to try this. Then I, I dipped that dog in the fondue. It was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal of the same quality and you can save on average $65 per month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. 20 minute recipes, 30 minute recipes, uh, low prep, easy cleanup, order online or in the app. You could change your delivery day, your food preferences, your plan size, you Honestly, could skip weeks and you want the flexibility is bonkers bonkers if you can't clean it up and cook it right you're an idiot you you are literally an idiot go to the doctor diagnosed with idiot yes. if you're not using america's number one meal I, kit you Hello know what fresh. he'll do he'll write your prescription for hello fresh for hello fresh hello fresh and the the code if you use the code hey babe we use 16, it we, we use it. it use the code hey babe 16 and use code uh go to hellofresh.com slash hey babe 16 use the code hey babe 16 you're gonna get 16 free meals and three free gifts the three free gifts is ambiguous and i love that about it yeah one it, of it's the almost gifts like was, a mini christmas one of the gifts was this sweatshirt yes that's that's sleepy joe de rosa hellofresh.com <laughs> slash hey babe 16 use the code hey babe 16 16 free meals and three free gifts because i think we're supposed to be on a call at four o'clock oh but it's not it's not four o'clock yet um you Sorry, feel her. You feel her palm your ass and you palm my ass. And she literally, no, literally though. I'm asking you. No, she she grabbed your ass and lifted it up. Look, I was rolled over like this. Look, like she she, she told me to go like this. Okay, right? and I'm rolled over like what this. What about your balls? They're there. Okay. So and then <laughs> and then so, right. so I'm laying like this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, imagine this is here. So yeah. I got my whole leg over. So I, yeah. I'm ex this. It's open already. It is open. Yeah. And then she goes. She takes her left, she had her, the thing in her right hand, I believe it was her right hand. She takes the thing in her right hand, she takes her left hand and pulls open my ass and then gets right in there. And, what are you and then I felt my cheek collapse onto it. And then I was like, oh, like <laughs> and, then, and then you really were going, I oh. swear, and then I was like, it's cold. And she goes, yes. And then I was like, I was like, I was like, oh. and then she kept going in. I was like, stop, stop, stop. She goes, little more, little more, little more. And then I was like, this is killing me. And then she goes, little more. And then I remember she pulled it out and, and you heard like, oh, like it came out like that. Yeah. What, was it, was, what was, bothering you how deep in she was going or yes. how wide it was both deep and wide oh. and i remember she pulled it out and she was like you're done and i laid there for a, a, about 20 seconds Wait, what was this uh that to get broad prostate looked at what was she shoving in there i don't know like some a prostate checking instrument all right yeah and <laughs> like like i literally and, and, and then what and then and then she then you sat back up yeah. And got dressed? Got dressed and left. Like, that didn't just happen. Like, I didn't know, but I didn't know what I was expecting. Like, I thought, like, I was going to be like that. Right. You know, like, like, a, like a gynecologist. Little more. Little, little more. more. Yeah. So, I... Uh, and that's before that. Are and then with prescription, the, by the way? Yeah. With the colonoscopy. Yeah. Uh, you, 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 what was that like? You don't feel anything. So you go out and then you wake up and you're done and you don't know what they did, what it felt like, what happened. Colonoscopy. By the way, general anesthesia works by interrupting nerve signals in your brain and body. It prevents your brain from processing pain and from remembering what happened during your surgery. So it knocks you out. Yeah. Why does, it, why does it prevent you from remembering what happened? I don't know. General anesthesia relaxes the muscles in your digestive tract and airway that keep food and acid from passing from your stomach into your lungs. Always follow your doctor's instructions about avoiding food and drink for surgery. Yeah, you can't eat. I remember that. I remember with the colonoscopy, you, I couldn't eat for 24 hours. I want to say 24 hours. I couldn't eat. And then I take the colon blow. So, it, you know, it, you know you're, you're shitting everything out that was in your stomach and, like, cleans your tracks. Because they need to basically, they can't have any bowel. Right. They can't, you can't have they shit can't in there. They can't go in there and see a, a good yeah, burger. Yeah, it's like, well, I, uh, is that a tumor or a chicken bone? Right, like, right, you know right, I mean? right. So they need everything out, but then you're starving. And then I got the procedure. My procedure was at, in the afternoon at, like, 1 p.m. So I had to, like, wait all day. And you're, like, almost, like, passing out. Yeah. And then they do it. And then I remember, like, then you can eat whatever you want. I, like, ran to get food. I got, um... Uh, bear burger. 
Bear Burger, which Get is right the hell out of here. from uh, the place that I went. I went down on William Street. Were you, in the city. were you leading up to the appointment? Were you like full of anxiety so, and like nervous and like weird? You know what? I was. I had so much anxiety because I never had a procedure at, for anything in my life. I, right. I was like one of those never anything in the hospital, nothing. So I had a lot of nerves. But I got to be honest with you. After I got the anesthesia and I whatever got through it. Not that this is that big of a deal. It's a very routine thing. But I felt like this like. Not nervous about a hospital or any... Like, I just wasn't nervous about it anymore. Like, I kind of got, like, a little, like, all right. Acclimated. The worst comes to worse, and I ever need a surgery. You just get the anesthesia. It's over. Right. Like, you know, right, like, it's right. whatever. Don't don't be so worried. And and, and they, they're so professional. They treat you with such good care that it was like... Who? Who are these guys? How'd you find them? The... the, the, the um, I, I was your general care... General no, practitioner? No. I, 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 wish, I wish there was some type of sponsor, but the truth is I just went on ZocDoc. And uh, Zoc Doc, Zoc Doc, and I just put in my insurance, uh, Zoc which Doc. was none, and 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 I I um, it was none. How much was the colonoscopy? We got a pock. I don't even remember. Five G's, maybe. You you paid five thousand dollars out of pocket to have two men you didn't know go up your ass with a tube. For this, yeah, yep. At, at least why this is time it they not covered? Doctors. Why is it not covered? Uh, I didn't have insurance at the time. Oh my god! But I had to get it done. Wow. Yeah. What What are the results? What are you looking for? I don't know if I have for? insurance now because I haven't been done anything with the Screen Actors Guild and I, I don't. I might not have health insurance right well, now. When was the last time you went to the doctor? Well, how do you get to have insurance? Through Jasmine. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's a little dangerous to not have insurance. I know, right? I must have it though, right? I couldn't tell you. I mean, you had you pay. How do you have insurance through the Screen Actors Guild? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. Joker's is SAG. No, it's not. But I've done. An, I do SAG projects all the time. So I, I had it through something else, and I transferred to SAG when I was eligible, right. I mean, which is like Blue Can Cross. You name this episode. I do SAG projects all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joker's is not, but I had you have to do them enough to keep it. Is what I mean. I don't think so I've I, done anything. I do them enough. Is what I should say to keep it going. Right. Oh God. Hey, you do SAG wars. stuff. I don't. I don't think. I don't think anything I've been on in the last year has been SAG. okay. But Damn. what are they looking for when they do Great the colonoscopy? They're looking for polyps. They're looking for cancer. They're and, looking through your colon And tract. what did they find? They found a polyp, but it was like they said it was bullshit. Yeah. It was a bullshit one. Like not like zero to worry about. Like they said, actually, I don't have to come in again until I'm 50 now, not 45. They told me 50. I'm going to go 45, but they said 50. So, bro, I'm 45. Never gotten. No. Do you have any problems? Never 45. I've never been colonoscoped. It happens, baby. Do you... Do I have problems? Like, in what way? Do you feel like that you have any type of colon issues? Not that I, not that I could imagine. You never shit blood ever once in your life. In my life? Yeah. I have to imagine. By the way, I, quick tip. But always I, look at the toilet bowl before you flush. Because there's a lot of times where you might have stuff in the toilet bowl that you, like, don't even want to look at. And I get it. But it, it, it says a lot about the health of your body. If you're, you know, if you have floating poop, it, your poop should always be S-shaped, light brown in color, and have no blood. Uh, okay, and yeah. floating? Should what be does floating. I'm mean? sorry, it should sink, sink to the bottom. It should not be floating. Okay. If you're floating, it means you have too much fat, and fat in your diet. Really? And it's a digestive issue. Yep. Wow. Oh yeah. All right. Yep. That's probably the food. Okay. Well, here. Well, who's hungry? Where we at, Pimpy? Shit. Yeah, we're good. Thirty-four. Um. All right, so I, I, coast I, of col- colonoscopy by city. You're living in one of the most expensive cities to get a colonoscopy, my friend. Eleven to thirty-seven hundred bucks. So, do you think that I should? Do you think that I should call and get a colonoscopy? Well, if, if they said forty-five, get it. Yeah, I mean that's what I am. Why not? Uh, I don't know, man. I just you're nervous about it. I don't know. No one's. I've never been put under. Then people go into my body through my ass. Did you ever have anyone in your family that had colon cancer or any type of? No, I'm sure my dad's had a colonoscopy and my mom. Does cancer run in your family in any way, shape, or form? <sighs> no, no, not really. Not not in my immediate and immediate. Are you sure it's forty five and not fifty? Wow. As long as you order the right foods, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, we got a thin That's mint. That's a shake. thin mint. I know, but we got to split that. That looks dynamite. I know. It looks like good food. Um, this episode might get cut a little short. Might get cut a little short only because <laughs> we got a thin mint shake that we're looking at and some food from Shout Out Jay's on the Bay. Shout Out Jay's on the Bay, babe. You filmed your special. Honey so, Bunny. Right now, it's March 17th. You filmed it just a couple of weeks Happy ago. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's today. That's why I got the Thin Men oh shake. Oh, my God. Another thing, shout out, by the way. Speaking of St. Patrick, 
Shout out Tom Brady. Yes. And Patrick, Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes for what they did a couple of Super Bowls ago. He won in Tampa at 43 years old, but not to be outdone, that that team with, with Patty Mahomes is unbelievable. Under- now, fast forward though. Matthew Stafford mm. and the Los Angeles Rams won another won their Super Bowl game at home, yeah. defeating the I don't even remember. They, they defeated the Cincinnati Bengals <laughs> and Joe Burrow. Cincinnati Bengals and Joe and Joe Burrow, who looks like homeless pimp. That's correct. Okay. So just shout out a scrappy ball club, those Bengals. Yeah. And uh, you know, there you go. These, the this looks pretty cool. Right. Which pimp? Look at the look at episode. the pimp pictures oh, yeah. pimp took. So my comedy special, uh, which is coming out at youtube.com slash Christy Comedy, my YouTube channel, uh, the last week of March, yes. uh, which we believe we're going to call I Am Poppy. I filmed it at the Gramercy Theater. I look I'm sharp. very proud of it. Directed by the homeless pimp himself. Um, we're really proud of it. And uh, and dude, it was amazing. It's good to get that material out there and kind of you know move on from it and write new jokes and do new things, but. And it was fun, man. It was fun. It was I mean, sick. the second show, people were hammer drunk. Um, at one point, I I took a man's truly and started drinking it on stage. And Pimp was like, "You can't have a truly. It's a taping." Of course. So I was like, "Yep, I'm a dummy." <laughs> and um, and uh, and you watched two Shrek movies in the green room. I watched Shrek one and Shrek two to prepare for it. I watched Shrek one before the first show. Shrek two before the second show. I still got to see those. You st- the fact that you still haven't seen Shrek is it's a little maybe, bit. You know what? Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Want to do that? Maybe I'll watch it tonight. Should we do a live watch on the Patreon? Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Coming soon. Which, yeah. No, but the merch really is out. It's out, actually, now. The merch is out. The merch is out. It's at salvoconocomedy.com and christycomedy.com. Yeah, just go to store. Store. It's on yeah. there. Um, but, yeah, no, dude, I'm excited about I think that putting a comedy special out on YouTube now feels like the way to go because well, I've said this before is, you know, my career really only started to get started in a real way when... I put my power, put the power of my career in the hands of my fans, not a in corporation. Right. So, um, so that's why I put it on YouTube, and I, you know, I just hope you guys like it, share it, please. It, it, uh, it'd be good. And if you're coming tomorrow to my shows in Seattle and Portland, it will be uh, different material than that. So, yeah, I was about to ask you that. Yeah. So, what do you got lined up now? So I got, I got, I got about twenty ish minutes that are not on the special. Okay. Um, and then you know. Do some crowd work, have some fun, you know. But but, but but you're looking for 40 there. Looking for 40. Well, I don't know. I might put out, we might put out 30, 30 to 40 now because okay. now all these algorithms, the, the bottom line is like the hour special is just, it's like, dude, it's you know, antiquated. church, Catholic mass, at least used to be two and a half hours. And right. then it went down to 45 minutes because right. it's like the thing, like, nope. Yada, 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 yada God great, loves you. Even Dave Chappelle, like who I love is like, I can't watch it for 60 minutes. Right. 30 minutes I can watch it, but 60 is like, come on, it's too long. Right. We're, there's too many distractions. So that's what we're thinking is what we'll put out is most likely 30. Um, Because a live performance is different. When you're live, it's like you're in the zone, you're in the venue, mm-hmm. you know, it's interactive. But sitting at home and just making you watch something that yeah. you have to pay attention to for 60 minutes, yeah. I think is a big ask okay. in 2022 of a person personally. Um, but, you know, listen, it's what it is. We're going to put it out. And uh, and yeah, and then and I feel good. Like I've been I was having a really tough time writing new material mm-hmm. uh, for these past year or two. Yeah. Um, because I think I just and I was getting very angry with my material because I think I just wanted to put it out. And I was mad. I'm like, why is there not? Why is this not a special? Like, right, right. And now that it's out. All of a sudden, I have like six new ideas in my head. Because you need to. Because well. I just needed to like expel it. Yeah. You know, because now it's like I can't do that material. I'm sick of my material. You know what I mean? I'm but, figuring well, out if I'm going to tape in July or January. You're going to do special Weshi for, for for YouTube, or what yeah, are you going to do? Well, we'll see. We'll see. I got a couple of targets, and if I don't hit those, I might just go to YouTube because that's the way. What title do you like better? Do you like I Am Poppy better or Special Weshi? Listen, I used to tell you that this podcast was sponsored by BetterHelp. Now I tell you this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. That's true. And that's what I want to tell with you. And Look, go ahead, babe. Talk to me. We were talking about investing before. Investing but I want to my, ask you. In myself. Did you ever invest in yourself? I do. Did I'm investing invest in, in myself, yeah. I don't sometimes, but then I do to make up for all the times I didn't. And right now, I'm investing in myself. And let me tell you something right now. I am at my wit's end. You are, yeah. I am lately at my wit's end, and I need better. I, I use better help. With those glasses and that hair, you look like a nut job, like relief pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> I look like, like the guy from uh, like Ricky Vaughn. Yeah, like yeah. a maniac. Yeah. He just comes in and throws gas. Just firing 99s at you. <laughs> yeah. High uh, and tight. 
Look, relationships take work. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they do. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone else, but we don't help ourselves, babe. You know, you don't help yourself. I do therapy. I'm starting to exercise again. I'm starting counting calories. Yes. I want to get my mental state to reflect, and then, then the inside, the good inside comes out. Now, BetterHelp, it's online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. You don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. I've used it. It literally, it helps so much just to talk to somebody because there's times where it's like, you know, I just got to talk to somebody and BetterHelp has, they, they have great, it's great professional therapy. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's affordable. It's more affordable than in-person therapy. Uh, you match with a therapist in under 48 hours. Two million people have used the BetterHelp uh, online therapy. Uh, there are two million people in that community. That's right. unbelievable. Right. Uh, yeah. So you know, we 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 love it. We 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 say the podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Hey Babe listeners get ten percent off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash Hey Babe. Try it out. You got nothing to lose. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash Hey Babe. College basketball fans join the action on the court during the biggest tournament of the year with DraftKings Sportsbook. It's March. Madness. Turn your team's victory into your own big win. New customers can bet $5. $5 here on any team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. It's that simple. If you win, if they win, you win. If Sportsbook isn't available in your state, you can still join the College Hoops action with the DraftKings pools. Or move out of that state. Everyone can play free pools all March long for a shot at a share of over $250,000 in prizes. Simply join a pool and answer questions like, hey, who will make it to the next round? And who will hit the most three-pointers? Then track your results, That's mother. Fun. That's fun. That is fun. Download your... Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code HEYBABE. Bet $5 on any college hoops team to win and get $200 in free bets if they do. Again, if they win, you win, cutes, with promo code HEYBABE this week at DraftKings Sportsbook. 21 years of age or older. Restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Here we go. Oh. I'll read it now. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, crisis counseling and referral services can be accessed by calling 1-800-GAMBLER. That's 1-800-426-2537. Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Wyoming. 1-800-NEXT-STEP. Visit for Arizona. Oh, for Arizona. 1-800-NEXT-STEP for Arizona. 1-800-522-4700. Uh, 888-789-777. Uh, visit ccp.org slash chat for Connecticut. 1-800-BETS-OFF for Iowa. One eight seven 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 zero. Stop seven eight six seven. L A. Uh, Louisiana eight seven seven. H open Y text <laughs> Hope New York. Uh, New York visit uh, opgr dot org. Call slash text Tennessee Redline one eight hundred eight eight nine nine seven eight nine or one eight eight five three two thirty five hundred V A twenty one plus eighteen plus New Hampshire Stick Wyoming. with us, folks. Stick with us. Physically present in Arizona, Colorado, <laughs> Connecticut, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Louisiana, Michigan, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, Wyoming. Wait, only. Where's Gary Goldman when you need him? I know. Minimum five dollar deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. See HTT. <laughs> P dot slash slash DraftKings dot com slash sportsbook for details, period. Well They're both kind of me, right? I like them both. They're both you. You know, just even from this no pressure. I, you know, we I love abbreviation. Yeah. And all that stuff. The special weshy. I am Poppy. They're both funny. Or Chrissy down the middles or Chrissy Gray zones. I wouldn't do those. I wouldn't do those. Okay, so those, those are don't out. those don't pop to me like the other two do. Especially Weshy and I am Poppy. Especially Weshy is funny. I am. Po they're both good. I mean, they're both really good. Or size thirty six waist. Well, that's what I thought you were going to end up doing. Yeah. Are you thirty six now? No, that's that'd be a lie. <laughs> still thirty eight waist. Oh really? Oh, well, that's funny. That's funny. Still thirty eight waist. I'm still, but the, <laughs> but the thing is, does it get confused? Well, I mean, nobody saw the one on Comedy Central. Right, right, right. Still a thirty eight waist is hilarious. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. Well, I think we'll see in the edit. The name, because the name is important, you know, especially for, the yeah. thing is with YouTube, you deal with algorithms, you deal with, it's a whole thing. What about a 38, how old are you? 37. Uh, if it comes out when you're 38, you can just name it 38 Waste, W-A-S-T-E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about I name it 37, 38? <laughs> yeah. I'm 37 and this, 38 Waste is funny, W-A-S-T-E. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. But uh, yeah, so I'm 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 happy about it. And then and, what and, is, baby? and what was it? So the crowd, you would tell me like did the because you were in New York not long ago. You were at the Beacon, and that was like a three thousand seater. And now this is only a few weeks past that, and you had to sell another eight hundred tickets. Eight hundred tickets, and most of the people who saw me at the Beacon bought tickets to Gramercy. So Thank what was that like? What was that I like? I kind of I'm the person that I can't not call out the elephant in the room when I'm right. performing live. I just can't. So I said to them, I should have done this special at the Beacon. I messed up. You probably heard some of these punchlines before. Just laugh like you never heard it before because I need this shit to get on YouTube. Sure. To get, you know, like whatever. I, I made that like a joke. Did you? And you're going to keep that in or no? That was just a little Well, pre- I guess precursor. we'll see in the edit. Maybe, maybe not. We'll yeah, see. Wasting valuable time. But Yeah, we'll see. Maybe at least for a clip. Yeah. You know what I mean? We'll see. That's the good thing about putting it out on YouTube or having, I mean, this is just even outside of comedy. Just when you own something outright, then you do what you want with it. Right. So there's literally any th- idea we have Pimp and I Love just it. talk about it. Love it. And it happens. Be, where, if somebody else owns it, it's like... They got their hand in the Even till. Netflix, like, oh, we only give you three clips or this. It's right. like, not this. This right. is just like, whatever I'd like to do with it, right. I can do with it. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. And I hope that it gets, you know, the views that we're hoping oh, for. Oh, it's gonna. It, it looked great. It, it I mean, it, it looks... It, really, I mean, I, I Homeless Pimp directed and, and he hired his staff of guys. And it really... Yeah. I mean, even my agent, who's a, you know, has... Very like real high profile clients was like this looks better than a lot of the things I've shot for big corporations, like, right? Because right. they're like it just is amazing, and the venue loved working with them. It was great. That's awesome. That's it, right. it was I can't cool. Wait to see it. I think honestly, where like, are you going to film yours? Where where do you want to? So film I don't I don't know. I was starting to talk about that. I I I I think somewhere on the road. I don't know if I would do it in New York. Yeah, I um, get it. I don't know. I I mean New York. This will be speaking of the Beacon May fourteenth. Will be my first time headlining New York here at the Beacon Theater. Uh, tickets are on sale right now, but I mean, like, I feel like that's that's the one for me to go back there a few months after or the same year or I back it. in New York City. I'm saying I don't know if I'd want to do that. I, I feel I like you're a go Boston to, guy. Boston. Let me tell you something at right the now. Wilbur. Let You'd me tell you something right there. now. Boston in the last. I was there in 2019 and this year. Both times I sold a ton of tickets. Both times, uh, all four shows were like the hottest crowds ever. Boston is hot. How about comedy. this? You ready for this? You know where else I think you'd be good? Not a lot of people do this here. Do it there. London. What if you did your special in London? We talked about it. Is that it. too much? We talked about it. I don't know. I want to make sure that everything would translate over there. Of course it would. They, they invented English. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the reference. I mean, I haven't been out there, too, and they were great crowds. When we were of course, out there. they love you. So there's, something, there's something to be said there, too. I don't know. But I want to come to the U.K. All you U.K. folks haven't been there in a long time. Samesies. But yeah, I'm coming there. I'm going to just, as soon as I'm done with this tour, I am going to tour the U.K. So I hope to see you guys. Yep. But, yeah, I, I got to figure it out. But I'm telling you, I think that if I don't, there's only a couple of places I'd want to land, depending on what their strategies are, or whatever. And if not, I think the move is really just the same. Like, put it in the hands of the fans to be able to share it yeah. as much as they want, have to control it as much as we want. Yeah. And it's not about really making money at that point. It's just no. about it's just about gaining traction and gaining views and gaining more fans. My thing is like, you know, I think I've said this on this podcast. I know I've said it on Chrissy Chaos, but the you know what Oprah says, the money always comes second. That's what I'm thinking about with this special. It's like it's I, not money at all. I paid money for it. Like I right. lost money, but the thing is God willing, it brings me to another place in my career that the money then will come. Right. It has right, to come. Right. You know, that that's that's the thought. Yeah. And it feels, you know what I feel good about too? And again, this is just not just about comedy. This is people watching at home, like even if you're not in comedy, just having ownership of it and just doing it the way I want to do it. If it does well or doesn't do well, I know that it's all on me. So it took so, takes so much pressure off me. Yeah, because I'm happy with it now. The way no one else is going to dictate mishandling. It. Nobody, I can't blame nobody but myself, and that's a beautiful feeling where mm. it's like, you know, other special. It's like, oh, they made me cut that. I had to change yeah. this. Word. This is not that. I yeah. said exactly what I wanted to say. It's like Rage Against the Machine says. What do they say? We got to take the power back. Yeah. yeah, it's like Bane says, take the city, it's yours. Take the city, it's yours. It's yours. <laughs> yeah. Bane? I found the cure, now I've lost it. Does he say that? No, that's uh, that's uh, Sean Connery. Oh, okay. R.I.P. Welcome to The Rock. He died? Sean Connery had, there's no way Sean Connery's alive. You're the man now, dog. Sean what? Connery's dead. No, he's not dead. It is yeah. <gasps> Oh Halloween. my god, he died, he died just a year and a half ago. On Halloween. Not even a year and a half ago. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Wow, I oh. had no idea. Sean Con- who do you think for an older woman who's like like who's 
is it Sean Connery? Like, who's the hot old guy? Is it Sean Connery? Is it Clint Eastwood? Robert Redford, maybe? Robert Redford. Something like that. You, did you ever see that clip of Sean Connery on Barbara Walters where he's like, I'll hit a woman once in a while? No, but let's play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of wild. I love to It was have like sex 40 with years Walters. ago to, with Bobby Dubs. Would you have sex with Barbara Walters? When? Today? 10 years ago. 10 years ago? That's a tough question. I would say no, because I think she was like 80. I know Sean Connery regrets this conversation. Okay. You did an interview in which you said, it's not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't I, love that. I haven't changed my opinion. <laughs> you haven't? No. Not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. You I don't think, think it's bad, it though? I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Yeah. What would merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, that they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't want to have the, the, the last word, and you give them the last, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again and, and get into a really provocative situation. Then... I think it's absolutely right. By the way, Sean Connery has been married to Micheline for 31 years, and we have not heard a single... Because you had CTE. <laughs> Bro, that is wild what he just said. Kanye... What, wait, is this Pete Davidson reacts to Kanye West video? Is that real? What are you talking about? Go, look at that. He didn't really, he didn't really that react to that. To I just heard there was a statement that he thought it was funny because... Robert Pattinson, the new Batman, played it out loud in a bar or some some bullshit. It sounds like bullshit. I don't know. It, it sounds like he said he thought it was funny. Oh, okay. And this is probably a vlogger. Yeah, I was about to say, like, there's no way he said anything about it. That's wild if he did. No, this is just some bullshit. Oh, okay, that's a bullshit. Oh, God, I hate people so much. Um... Yeah, dude, the Sean Con The thing is with a guy like Sean Connery That's from an old school, though, but, like, where he just... I, I know it's not okay, but, like, he just thinks... Like, there was a... You have to understand, like, there he was... He wasn't canceled after that. No. There was Didn't a, exist. There was a guy alive, like, in the, you know, probably, like, the 1940s or something. Like, my... Our parents were alive, and there was also a guy alive who had legally married, like, a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, like Jerry Lee Lewis. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so it's like... There's just like, back in his day, Sean Connery's day, it's like, I guess it was just okay to hit a woman. Now it's just right. like, you know, not. Wife beating is common in Europe and is endorsed by the church as the loving husband's means of correcting his wife's faults. Can't be real. 14th century, Roman Catholic Church, <laughs> rules of marriage, <laughs> exhorted Christians' husbands to beat your wife soundly, not out of malice or rage, but out of concern. <laughs> <laughs> so in the 1300s they beat the out of concern i love you <laughs> i'm concerned with the way you've been acting yeah that's <laughs> insanity yeah dude um domestic abuse during the 1950s was not considered a crime but as a family matter and law enforcement not get involved i'm telling you i didn't i say this to you the other day Pip? remember we talked about this once on a podcast where it's like the, the, the law Ugh. getting involved in family situations is like such a new thing. Yeah. It used to be like the founding fathers were like, no, the law is about your family is your family. You, right. you make all the you rules. You're self-governed. Whatever you want to do. Yeah, look, look at this. It's true. Family violence became an issue with the influence of the women's liberation movement in the 60s and 70s. As the years progressed, domestic violence in American society began to see began it to be seen as a violent criminal act as the attitude toward family violence began changing so did the criminal justice system like you see how slow everyone was to change the basic do you think there's something we're missing right now oh tons that, what what do you think i mean the thing that that was right in front of us is going to be i think that like you know um like in the digital age like you send like an unsolicited like sex pic or something like that. Like I think that is big. I think certainly cryptocurrency things are going to be a huge um, thing. That's going to all the things that we're doing right now with cryptocurrency or I am or whatever will be legal in five years. You know, like you, there's probably going to be some way regulation, some regulation. Um, I think uh, what else is there? Like, um, you know, I mean, dude. I mean, even like just look at the language that we have. Like even. Even some of the jokes on very, you know, family-friendly shows they would never make today. Mm -hmm. Like, you just would not do it today, you know? It's wild. It's wild. You know, like, like 
Even now, I mean, what about even even like um, Jokers? I bet you there's been sketches that or pranks from 2011, 2012 where like, you know, you had to do something with like, um, you know, I don't know, getting in somebody's space or something like that. Yeah, probably and you would not do, You could not do that now. Yeah, probably. I, I guarantee you probably. probably yeah, you know, or even the know. clips I make for you guys in 20 years will probably be like, oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> <shit> horrible. <laughs> it's going to be terrible, <laughs> you know? Well, I think the one of you laughing and pointing at Joy, Joy Behar falling the other day. Oh my God. Did you classic. see her fall? No. Tell I mean, it's on camera. Go uh, live on camera, and then and then I want to do. Sh you ever seen Shaq falling? No. <laughs> I was watching this this morning, dead on the fucking floor. Are you serious? Yeah. Shaq's actually doing a, a voiceover for us for Jokers. Is he? Yeah. Are you gonna actually get to meet him, or is he gonna do it remotely? He like, wants. He. We can have him on the show if we want. But he he's gonna do it remotely. We did it. Look, look, look. Oh, go go back, go back, go back. Oh, watch, watch. No. This is live on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh falls right off the chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now go Shaq falling. Go Shaquille O'Neal falling. I mean, which one do you think is better? And then can we play the audio for the Shaq falling? You really can't. When's the you last time play? you fell? Oh. In your driveway. In my driveway, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the that, live no, on TV tripped. during halftime show, that one, yeah. Yeah, th this is real. <laughs> Look, watch. Oh, I think I have seen watch. this, actually. It's crying. No, no, let it play, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then he says, Ernie, he, think, he says, Ernie Johnson set him up. He thinks Ernie Johnson wrapped that cord around his ankle. He goes, you set me up, Ernie. Ernie's like, I physically couldn't wrap that around your shoe. Look, and the camera just goes to his shoe. The, the, the NBA on TNT broadcast of Shaquille O'Neal, Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny Smith, and Charles Barkley is the absolute best it's so funny. sports analysis, sports show ever created. I mean, they talked about gas prices yesterday for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Did you see that clip where they're talking, where Shaq's, Shaq's telling them, that like, uh, you know, the way to like, you know, save money on gas is fill up your tank when you're halfway full and then you save money. And Kenny's like, that makes no sense. What? Yeah. He's like, he's like, and then they like, just keep talking about it. And he's like, it, it, they want, and the, like, they're trying to commentate on the game. And Ernie Johnson's like, we need to speak about basketball. And he's no, like, oh, no, Ernie, wait a second. No. Hey, no, go pull it. Can you pull up Shaq gas prices? Uh, or will we get flagged for this, Pimpy? Probably get flagged. We'll see though. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, Sha oh, Shaq, Shaq, it says short, you put short. Yeah, Shaq, gas prices, whatever, clip, old, old, old Shaq video about gas price goes viral. Okay, so it was an old video. I thought it was more recent. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this, 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 yeah, look, look. Because I, right. I told him I didn't want to get a, a certain vehicle because of the amount of gas I would have to spend. Yeah. It cost like $80 right. to fill it, up. fill it up. And he right. said, then you said. When it gets to half, then you put $20, you bring it back to full. Yeah. But if I keep doing I would have to stop more often and still no, spend 80. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Why? You're complaining about when this it gets to zero, air. you spend 80, right? When it gets to half, you put 20. Then when it gets back to half, you put 20. Yeah, but, but I'll keep that. stopping putting 20 in, and it'll be cool. 80, Kenny. the same amount of gas. Kenny. Kenny. I'm Kenny. driving the Kenny. same amount of gas. The average human stops once a week for gas, right? With you, you only work here twice. You would probably have to stop maybe, maybe once every two weeks. <laughs> Don't even try it. <laughs> this is all. This Wait, is bordering on. Nobody travel more than me. This well, is I'm bordering on what's closer. The west Pause it for a second. The moon. So There's if, another if, clip if, that what that means is if yeah what that means. Dude, that's of, wild that he said that. No, but it's wild. But it keeps going on. We continue <laughs> watching. But the reason why Ernie John says West Coast of the Moon is Shaquille O'Neal goes. He goes. Um, he goes. Uh, they're talking about something. I don't know how it gets into it. And Shaq goes. Shaq goes. Listen to me. He was like. Um, he was like. Uh, how far is the moon? How long does it take to get to the moon? And then they're like, you know, I don't know. He goes, I bet you it takes longer to get to California. And they're like, why? Why would you say that? He goes, well, I could see the moon. I can't see California. No. He goes, we in Atlanta. I can't see California, but I could go outside right now and see the moon. And they were like, Shaq. It did, oh, that's amazing. It, and then they keep going. But then He's that was another thing that was like, they play. I was like, hilarious. Because these guys are perfect because they're never trying to be funny. Right, right, They're right, just right. talking. Right, right, right. You know? But this goes on for another two minutes where they keep, he keeps, you want to keep playing yeah, it? Or we I, get I'm, flagged for I'm, this wait, bordering on that. You're so, you're, well, you're you're telling I don't want to get flagged for it, but I do want to watch it. If I, only, if I didn't let my gas get down, I wouldn't have to <laughs> fill it up as much? No, I'm saying you're complaining about the $80.
That's what the conversation right. about. You, you. But four what? times twenty is eighty because I'm gonna stop four times. Yeah. No, you're not gonna stop four times. No, you're not gonna stop four times. Not in one week, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it, Kim, oh, the West Coast is closer than the moon. If you let it get to zero, right? Monday through Friday, right? Then you got to pay eighty to fill it back up. Right. Okay, but if you let it get it's to half by Wednesday and you pay twenty, no, minutes back by, at it the won't floor. get to half by. Right, by if Wednesday it's gonna be forty, and then on Friday it'll be forty. Not again. forty, twenty. Yeah. It's gonna be twenty. No. <laughs> it's gonna be twenty. <laughs> Not half. Half of eighty is forty. But no, listen to what I'm saying. He's I, 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 I am. Okay. So if I every day if I did if I did. No, you, you ain't gonna have to put gas in every day. Don't play me right now. I'm not playing. Don't, <laughs> don't play with me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I really want to know because just, Ernie, I want to get this call, but no, I really listen. want to save gas money. You're complaining. Ernie, Ernie's, Ernie's face is just like. You're complaining about the eighty dollars. Yes. Right. Yeah, so I'm zero, complaining. Okay. So at zero is eighty. No question. All so, right. At full is eighty, right? Yes. So if it gets to half, that'll be forty, right? No question so about it. So if you put twenty in, then you bring it back up to three quarters. <laughs> right? No, if I put 20 in it, it'll get to one quarter. Jeez, yeah. But it'll be three quarters. It'll be three quarters full. Three quarters empty. No, three quarters full. But who's on first? <laughs> this. <Yeah. laughs> you know what? <laughs> but who's Talk on first? instead of work. Nothing. More than me. They say, like, when they do their production meetings or whatever, like, there's, like, every other team, there's, like, there's a plan. You know, they have things. that They're, like, whatever. Just give they, us the scores Barkley of the game. Asked us to, he said we can come yeah. on with them. Yeah. Uh, I, I met him at an upfront. On front. that show? Yeah. You have Barkley, to do that. Barkley, come on anytime you want. Like, he told me at an upfront a couple of years ago. You should, I mean, it's so laugh out loud funny. Yeah. And then you ever see the one where Shaq gets stuck in the, ma- like, where they say the simulation's <laughs> real, where Shaq's just staring? Google Shaq simulation, uh, TNT. Shaq simulation. We we might have to cut all this out though, right? I don't want to. I don't want to not get uh, ad money or anything. I don't know. Oh, glitch in the matrix. Go to one fourteen. Glitch in the matrix. This is like real, like where you. It's a little like, there's not a joke or anything like this. This is like just happened like live. Shaq, look, so weird. What? Look. Watch. Talented. I give you a little credit on that. A lot of credit. You're very talented. It's just frozen. That can't be real. No, it's real. That had to be. That had to be someone edited that and put it up online. No, this happened like live on the air. People were like tweeting, like, "What happened to Shaq? Did he have a stroke? Like, it was a whole thing." And then he just comes out of it. I remember seeing this. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's even noticing. What? How wild is this? Yeah. That looks like it's frozen. No, that looks like it's frozen. That don't look real. It looks like Paul's television. Did they show him come out of it? Yeah. New York. New York. Hey, yo, let me leave, bro. Let me leave. I got you. Well, yeah. I mean, look at, I mean, what are the, I, I, I think uh, from what I've heard, it was real. What? Yeah. Seen this. Yeah. Man had a seizure, they're saying. Um, you know, however, not all seizures are just, you know, yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Wild, right? Dude, I'm gonna eat a thin mint shake. Yeah, are we, we gotta, split it or are we gonna eat the whole thing. I'm eat the whole thing. I'm gonna eat the whole <laughs> Um Yeah, so wait, how do, I don't know where we cut out here, but uh Yeah, well listen, we're we back. gotta eat lunch. We do have to eat lunch right now. We gotta eat lunch. And uh, um listen, Sal. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Do you really, though? Of course, I love you so much. Would you nuts? Genuine? Of course. What kind of question is that? Okay. The roast is going to be so mad at this ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It will end like taste buds. I know. I still love you, babe. I still lo- what do- I love you, too. I love you, too. That's it. That's how we end taste buds. Oh, really? Every app. Whoever loses, whoever wins says, I still love you, babe. No. Yeah, whoever wins says I still love you, but we say I love you too. That's the outpoint. That's the outpoint. Yeah, which we don't have one here, so we just go well, on. Usually well, this we, has do, been we usually hated. do whether this has been happening. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, we should we could go out like with like like Shaq, just a glitch in the matrix. Yeah. What do you mean, like? I blinked. This it's has been happening. This been happening. Hey, uh, uh, don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe.